Thunderdome Boxing Talk. All right, um, Floyd Mayweather says the the next fight. First off, all right, uh, Errol Spence was supposed to go up against Roberto Garcia. Um, you know, he pulled out of the fight again. You remember he pulled out against uh, Sean Porter and what was to be you know his last fight um, due to you know weight issues and. <clears throat> What's being reported is it's weight issues again, but then, you know, his camp is saying it's personal problems. It's weight issues. You know, the guy just can't make 147 anymore. I mean, this is two fights in a row now he's pulled out of. They sure as hell better never schedule this guy again for a 147-pound fight. Um, I know that's someone that they like to use. You know, for their their up and coming uh, their contenders and welterweight contenders and things, but they're gonna have to just bump them up to 154, man. This is the second time in a row. So not only did Errol Spence just that was gonna be, you know, by far Errol Spence's um, you know biggest test yet, I guess. Even though Spence was gonna win that fight clearly and easily, in my opinion, it was still gonna be you know. Uh, a huge step up compared to the guys he has been facing. You know, now he gets kind of stiffed on that, and Errol Spence does. And I was really looking forward to that fight. You know, I wanted to see Spence in there with uh, someone coming to win who might give him some good rounds. Uh, you know, just someone like a Robert, uh, a Roberto Garcia. Now it's looking as he's going to be fighting Phil LaGreco. I don't know if that's official or not yet, but that's who it looks like it's going to be. And the guy's taking the fight on short notice. All right, um, LaGreco is nothing special to begin with. Then you give him the fight on short notice. It, it's really bad uh, for Errol Spence that that had to happen. You know, and I guess it's bad for the fans too. Because Spence should have dusted um, Garcia off, took, took, took him right out, and then you know, went for the biggest name he could possibly get again. And, you know, now it's like he's back in the same position he was a few months ago. You know, so it sucks for him. Um, and for us, too. You know, Mayweather is, you know, kind of been uh, mentoring Errol Spence, as you probably know. Um, and Mayweather is on record saying the fight that I want to see Spence in, or I think the best fight for Spence is Keith Thurman. You know, I think he thinks clearly he can beat Keith Thurman and that that would be a big fight for him. You know, get his name right there, boom, he'd be right in the mix. We know Errol doesn't have a problem with that fight and Floyd says they should fight for a title. Um, you know, Thurman does have the WBA world title. It's not the super world title that Floyd has, but it is a world title. Um, so everything's there in the making. Now, I've, I have heard a couple of people at the bottom of the article, the comments, you know, people were saying, well, Thurman shouldn't take such a step back fight. Um, I don't think, you know, Spence is any less of a step back fight than Colazzo is. You know, I mean, Colazzo has a name. That's it, you know, but... And he called uh, Thurman out, uh, whatever, you know, you don't have to fight everybody that calls you out. Anybody dying for a big money fight is going to call out people that they can get a good payday from. Now, Spence um, versus Thurman would be a, an amazing fight, tremendous fight. And, you know, Spence hasn't necessarily called Thurman out, but he has said, um, Spence is one of the guys he wants to fight. So I, I don't think there's any different scenario between Colazzo and Spence. And Spence is, uh, you know, head and shoulders a better fighter than the Colazzo of today, anyway. I think he's still better than even a prime Colazzo, but, you know, the Colazzo that's out there right now that's going to be in the ring with Thurman is, you know, not. He's not Earl Spence, just put it that way. Earl Spence is clearly a better fighter at this stage in their careers. Um, and I think 
Spence himself was actually gunning for Colazzo, but uh, Thurman took him instead. And because you know he's been waiting longer, uh, he had the the ability to to make that decision. You know, it was up to if Thurman turned didn't want the Colazzo fight, then I think Spence would have grabbed it up. But since you know Thurman was like, hey, let me eat this dude up. Uh, he got the fight, and he's been paying his dues for a while now. Spence is just getting there, so Thurman clearly has the advantage on, you know, dues being paid. But I don't think it's really a step-back fight, man. I think anybody inside the boxing business, you know, Spence might not have this name that's ringing bells or anything, but we all know he's just as talented as these top ten guys. Um, you know, if you can't get a big fight... Well, guess what? Fight Spence then, man. He's your dude um, in the future. I mean, you know, Spence is your guy. He is, talent-wise, a top 10 welterweight. He isn't ranked there yet, but trust me, he'll, he'll be ranked there real soon. Um, now, Mayweather kind of inching that fight to happen. Um, there's a couple of reasons why. He seems to want Thurman to get beat, first of all. Um, cause pushing Spence to fight Thurman, you know, even though that is a fight we all want, I think, you know, I, I hope Floyd can get that fight made for us. That's, that is a good fight. Um, but clearly he thinks Spence can beat Thurman. Now Floyd should be fighting Thurman in September. Uh, is he trying to, you know, push that fight off? And then let, you know, Spence take care of him. If Spence can take care of him, let Spence take care of him. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Um, or is he just, you know, really scouting for Spence and seeing the biggest name out there that Spence can be? Um, and quite frankly, I think Spence can beat anybody at 47. You know, Floyd himself, uh, I think he can beat anybody at 47. Now... You know, he might need a couple of these fights, but he could, you know. Ah, oh, man. You know, there's a experience gap between him and Floyd, obviously, that Floyd would use, you know, against someone like Spence. But I think Spence, you know, he doesn't deserve that fight um, first. You know, there's other guys that have been waiting in line for a long time that deserve it a lot more, like Thurman. Um so, like, I don't think he should jump in front of the line or anything like that. You know, that's just not how this shit works. Um, there are number one contenders, and Thurman is still the guy Floyd should fight. It's basically, he's basically he's still his number one contender. Um, you know, they, they gave him that world title belt, but that doesn't change anything. You know, he's still the guy Floyd should fight um, in September. Now, is he going to? We don't know. We have no clue what Floyd's going to do. Um, but I don't know if I don't know if that Spence Thurman fight happens anytime soon. I mean, Thurman and Spence are both too big. It, it's going to have to happen eventually. But they're both two big names of Haymans in the welterweight division. Um, you know, maybe if, let's say Porter loses to Brown, then give Spence Porter, you know. And if Spence can get past Porter, you know, then you see what the landscape looks like then, and you give him someone else. You know, that's how you build that fight up. Um, it, it, it is what it is, man. I think the fight could happen right now, though. Um, like in their, their next fights, both of their next fights. Um, and that's what Floyd is seeming to be pushing for, right? Uh, maybe have them fight on his undercard or something, you know, help get some buys. Maybe that's the angle he's gunning for. I, I, I don't really know. Um, you know, it says, uh, Mayweather is among the many who recognizes Spence's talent and confidently believes the 25-year-old fighter is ready to fight and beat Thurman. 
Thurman defends the WBA regular welterweight title. It's really the regular world title um, against Luis Colazzo on July 11th. Mayweather told the WBA's, or Mayweather holds the WBA super version of the welterweight crown. Spence is scheduled to return on Saturday night at the MGM Grand uh, in Las Vegas against late replacement Phil Logreco. 26 and 1, 14 KOs out of Canada. Spence, a former Olympian with a mountain of talent, is highly regarded in the industry and viewed as a fighter with the ability to become a potential superstar. He's a hell of a fighter. This is a Mayweather quote. He's a hell of a fighter. It's going to take a little bit more for him to become a star. Me and Errol Spence talk. We talk, and I think that his, and I think that for his next fight, what I think is a good matchup is Keith Thurman. I think that should be a championship fight. I think him and Keith Thurman should fight for a title. His next fight, he's ready. That's Mayweather. Spence told Boxing Scene that he's very willing to face Thurman next if the fight is actually offered to him. Uh, Spence, quote again, Spence, or he says, uh, definitely, if the fight's on the table, I'd love to fight anybody. I'm not ducking anybody. If they have this on the table and they come to me with it, I will say yeah. Uh, no disrespect to Thurman. He's a great fighter. He has tremendous power. He can box. He can move around the ring. He fights smart. He's one of the young guys in the division that they say is the future. And I'm one of those young guys who is the future at 147. If we are going to fight, we are going to fight. It is what it is. I'm not ducking anybody. I'll fight anybody at 47. If that fight happens, let's do it. Um, now, if, if Floyd ain't going to fight Thurman in September and he picks somebody else, then, yeah, Thurman, I, I think Thurman should fight uh, Spence next. You know, why not? You know, why not? These are the two guys that are looked at as the future, just like Spence said. Um, could we milk it out and turn it into a bigger fight? Uh, by going down the route I mentioned earlier, you know, like give uh, Spence the loser of Porter and Broner. Yeah, they could. Um, and I, I could understand that. Um, but, you know, it's going to have to happen, what, one or two fights from now anyway. Uh, it, honestly, Thurman's best chance is to jump on Spence now. Um, you know, before he gets even better. Because with every fight, the kid is going to get better. Uh, you know, Thurman will keep getting better too, but I think uh, Spence has more potential. Like he has just more all-around tools. Um, I think Spence will turn into a better fighter than Thurman will. If they get to go down their own little paths and build the fight to be bigger down the future. Um, this is Spence, uh, I mean, this is Thurman's best opportunity to beat Spence. If he wants to wait a year or two years or something like that to fight Spence, he's going to be in real trouble. He's going to be in trouble because Spence is going to be a fucking animal in two years. Um, in a year, he's still just going to be better. Um, man, you know, because he'll be fighting top ten guys in, and he'll be real confident, real comfortable. Thurman's best chance is now. You know, if, you know, if you're Team Thurman, you're looking at this guy like, should I let him keep developing, um, or should I jump on it now? You know, I'd go for it now. I think this is his best chance. Um, like I said, man, you give Spence time to grow. He's, uh, like I said, he's got more. Pot Spence has got more potential uh, of growth, in my opinion, than Thurman does. Um, he's just, you know, he's a uh, man. You know. The dude, like they say, a former Olympian with a mountain of talent. Uh, the dude just needs opportunities. Once you start giving him them opportunities, he's going to explode into a, a superstar, man. 
He he is. You know, so Thurman really needs to jump on this now, or else he's gonna lose. If he fights Spence, even twelve months down the road, a year down the road, two years down the road, um, you know, I'm favoring Spence. But as of right now, um, it's close. But I think you'd have to slightly favor Thurman, even though it's real close. And Spence probably would win. Um, you kind of have to look at that experience level, you know, and that experience level alone, you know, in the pros, um, favors Thurman big time. So, you know, if Thurman wants to fight, uh, well, he's, he's, this is fight's going to have to happen eventually, no matter what. So if Thurman wants to win this fight, his best chance is to take it now. You know, that's what I think anyway, man. Let me know what you guys think about, uh, this matchup about, you know, when it should happen, who it can benefit, you know, um, why is Floyd um, seeming to be pushing the Thurman-Spence matchup? Shouldn't he be wanting Thurman? Shouldn't he say Thurman's my next opponent? Get the fuck away from him? Uh, I don't know. You know, let me know what y'all think. All right, Thunder No Boxing Talk. Peace.